What is going on guys? It's your boy Caleb Campbell Try it, the CEO of Does the Trip. Today we are actually gonna watch the rumbling music video from Attack on Titan. I'm very excited. Let's check this thing out. All right, just like the rest of the world, we are watching the final part of the final season of Attack on Titan. It is absolutely terrific. One thing that caught my ear absolutely was that intro track, as it is terrific. I am so excited that you know heavier music and metalcore is making its way into like the literal mainstream, which is also crazy because anime is in the extreme mainstream but however you guys it makes me so happy to hear these things kind of live together it was so cool my very first time i really recognized it was uh cold rain they did the intro song to the one of the fire force seasons and i absolutely loved it especially because it featured my boy ryo from crystal lake i actually thought that this was going to be maybe either crystal lake or cold rain but it is the band sim s-i-m i actually have not heard of these guys before i'm guessing they're like a japanese metal band i should check them out you know if there's a song that you really do like by these guys make sure you comment below so i can check it out and maybe even react to it all right we've got sim the rumbling the official music video in three two one go dude did anyone else i think that they i thought they were literally saying one dream one dream and then i'm like obviously they're saying rumbling duh dude i'm like what is wrong with me i'm so stupid i wonder if they have the lyrics on here they don't wow like when was the last time you guys heard an intro like deep growl like that or a scream like that in an anime or just in the general mainstream i love it dude the creative freedom of attack on titan has just been working out man it's kind of interesting it's like half animated half uh not It's literally going to be way soon before we see like Bring Me the Horizon on a literal anime opening. I just know it's going to happen. I mean, look at their last CD. They had so much influence with like Japanese influence. I mean, they even had, I don't even know. They had some of the, some Japanese artists on there and some like baby metal was on there. So I think they're going to have at some point, dude, there, I don't understand how Bring Me the Horizon hasn't written an anime opening already or an end credit song. It's inevitable, man. It's crazy that songs like this have to kind of get pieced up. So they're essentially writing like two songs. They're writing like the very summed up version because you can't have a four minute intro. We're not freaking all one piece, dude. You know, we got a lot of info to put in here, but I do love that they have like a full actual version. I mean, following like the verse one, verse two, it's just awesome. And the chorus, it's great. And good for these guys, man. I don't know if they were big. I've literally never heard of this band before, but the fact that you know, they got to play this track and, you know, they're a song like 1.2 million views in. Like, this is huge for any band's career, especially with, like, Attack on Titan going as ham as it is. No way. What is this? Dude, where was that little like jamming reggae part? They did not put that in the anime opening. What? That was freaking sweet, man. This is like very butt rock, like a little bit too butt rock for my personal taste. I don't listen to this like style that often, but I absolutely respect it. That little like groove part right there, that was like too cool, man. That was way cool. I can't believe that transition, man. Dude, what? The syringes, boy. Oh, 
Okay. Dude, this song's way more parts than I definitely ever thought it would. I feel like the intro song to the actual anime is just so short. They're missing some of the best parts of this song. Dude, even that whole last transition into that last part, that was great. That was literally flawless. That was seamless, man. Then we got a, like a little bri a slow bridge. Are you joking? Slow chorus, dude. And this is going to have a big, huge buildup right into the last chorus followed by a gnarly growl i just know it there you go build up too easy man follow the formula you guys you're gonna write a song follow the formula it works you don't gotta blaze your own trail man don't fix what's not broken oh man it gets you at me every time the breakdown the little bridge to the slow chorus and the big chorus at the end And here we go. This is uh, all I can see is Aaron Yeager right here. Wow, you guys, that was one heck of a track, dude. You guys, I am absolutely loving this final season of Attack on Titan. Honestly, that that song as a whole was awesome. It was so well done. Oh my goodness. One thing that I can't stand is when you have like a one and a half minute intro and that's like the full song. Like that is the full thing. Like even when you go and download it, that's the whole thing. This was like the full, this was a full four minute track. And honestly, you guys, I think the best parts of this song weren't even in the intro song. They had that super groovy part, which I couldn't believe how good that was a seamless transition into like some breakdowns a slow bridge wow that was good i mean overall this song is not really a style of music that i listen to really heavily i wish it was a little bit more on the metalcore side is a little bit butt rocky but dude that is a very well put together song and honestly good for this band sim for putting together something like this being a part of the anime culture and really getting a jump start on their career and bringing really like heavier metal and music into the mainstream guys i applaud them absolutely much respect to these guys absolutely passes the does a two-step vibe i didn't think it was going to pass that hard but it for sure passes let me know what you guys think we'll catch you guys on the next video